Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will discuss about NFA. What is an NFA? NFA is a non-deterministic finite automata. Okay. So in this video, we will discuss about what is an NFA and why it is called as an NFA and what is the difference between NFA and DFA. All these things we will discuss. So please listen this video. So as I said, it is a non-deterministic finite automata in a shortcut we will call it as a NFA. NFA can be represented using Q, Epsilon, Delta, Q0, F. If you watch my previous videos, the DFA also we have represented using these five tuples. So what are they we will discuss. So now Q is nothing but set of states in an NFA. Okay. Q is a set of states in a NFA and Epsilon is set of alphabets. Okay. We can call it as an alphabets. So combination or collection of symbols we will call it as an alphabets. A is a one symbol, B is another symbol. It can be a 0, 1, 0 is a one symbol, 1 is another symbol. So set of symbols we will call it as an alphabets. And the transition function about that one we will discuss later. Now Q0 is my initial state. You will have only one initial state. And F is a set of final states. Even in the DFA we have discussed these things. Q represents set of states. Sigma represents set of alphabets. Q0 is an initial state. Only we will have only one initial state and F is a set of final states. Now we will discuss about what is this transition function. Now transition function of Q on delta for a DFA. For a DFA what it is? For a DFA the transition function is Q meaning is that any state which belongs to this Q on taking any alphabet you will go to one state. Am I right or wrong? So Q on A you should go to some state. Q1 on A you should go to some state. Q2 on B you should go to some state. Is it clear? So whereas here what will happen we will discuss with an example so that you can understand by yourself. Okay. What is this one? Whether it is a Q or what it is you will get we will discuss with an example. Let me see. In the previous video we have discussed about the reverse of a DFA. When we done the reverse we got this finite automata. Why I am not saying that it is a DFA? It is not a DFA. It is only a finite automata. But I will not categorize which, to which it belongs to. Whether it is an NFA or it is an Epsilon NFA. All these things we will not discuss. But I can say that it is not a DFA. Why? Q2 on A there is no move. Q0 on A and B there is no move. So we can say that it is not a DFA. Now we will discuss what I can say. I can say it is a finite automata, but can I say it as an NFA or not? We will check it. If you see that Q2 on B, state Q2, let me write like this, Q2 on B, it is going to Q2 and also it is going to Q1. Is it clear? Q2 on B is going to Q2 and also it is going to Q1. Similarly, if you see that Q1 on A is going to Q1, on A it is also going to Q0. Now Q0 on A it is not going anywhere. Okay, I can say that it is, a, it is not going anywhere. Okay, Q0 on B it is not going to anywhere. Is it clear? So I can say that from a state on taking some alphabet you can go to any state means more than one state or you may not go to any state. Let me repeat this statement. From a state Q2 if you see that on B you are going to multiple states whereas Q0 on A you are not going to any state. So what I can say from this one from a state by taking an alphabet you can go to more than one state or all the states in the finite automata or you may not go to anywhere. So how can I represent it as 2 power q? 2 power q is a power set of q. So from a state by taking an alphabet you can go to all the states or you may not go to any state. So that is what the transition function of a 
NFA. What about the transition function of a DFA? The transition function of a DFA is Q on an A alphabet you will go to Q. So this is a transition function for an NFA and this is the transition function for the DFA. So this is the difference between an NFA and a DFA. Q on any alphabet you will go to is only one state in DFA whereas in NFA you can go to more than one state or you may not go to anywhere. So this is the basic difference between a DFA and NFA and the rest of the things are the same. Okay. Now why it is called as an NFA? Why it is called as undeterministic? Because the NFA full form is non-deterministic finite automata. Why it is undeterministic or non-deterministic? If you see that Q2 on B, I can go to Q2 or I can go to Q1. So for me it is a confusion. I am in state Q2 by taking an alphabet B, should I go to Q2 or should I go to Q1? That is an uncertainty. If you have only one possibility, you will go to that one. In the DFA, we have discussed. Now you have a two possibility. So we don't know where to go. Suppose if you see, let me discuss with an example. Why it is called as an NFA, I will discuss with an example. This one, can I say that it will accept BA? Am I right? Q2 on B, if you go to Q1. On A, you will go to final state. I can say that it is accepting. So if you see that there is a possibility. Q2... On B, if you go to Q1, Q1 on A, you go to Q0, it will be accepted because Q0 is a final state, it will be accepted. Now, if I take the same string from initial state Q2, instead of going to Q1, I have reached to Q2 itself. Is it clear? If you go to Q1 on B from Q2, it is okay. Then again on A, Q1, you are going to a final state. So I can say it is accepted. The same string, instead of going to Q1, if I go to Q2 itself, then Q2 on A, there is no move. So it is not accepting. Is it clear? So if you reach to Q1 and then Q0, it is accepting. If you are staying on taking B, if you are keeping in the B itself, if in the Q2 itself, then it is not accepting. So should I do this one or should I do this one? Obviously, I should do this one. But by mistake, if I do this one, it is giving me wrong answer. Meaning is it is not accepting. If I go like this, I will sometimes I may say that BA is not accepting, but BA is accepting if you take this path. So there is an uncertainty. Should I do this one? Should I do this one? So that's why it is called as a non-deterministic finite automata. Then usually in whenever you are writing programs or anything, you should be deterministic. Am I right or wrong? If you write some loop, Obviously, you should tell if this condition is satisfied, what should you do? If the condition is not satisfied, what you should do? So always there is a deterministic. Then why we have a non-deterministic? Non-deterministic is useful for us to solve the complex problems. Is it clear? And we have a procedure for converting a non-deterministic finite auto to a deterministic finite automata. So the power of an NFA is equivalent to power of the DFA. Meaning is that what are the strings? Means what are the long ways you can construct using an NFA, you can construct using the DFA. But there are few examples for them, if you construct the DFA directly, it will be very difficult. But if you construct the NFA, from NFA, if you convert into DFA, is a little bit easy. So that's why people sometimes will use the non-deterministic finite automata. So I hope with this video, you have understood what is an NFA and how to represent an NFA. Okay, and an example for a NFA and why it is called as an NFA, all these things I hope you have understood. If you really like my teaching, I request you to please press the like button and give your comments in the comment section. If it is a positive feedback, it will motivate me to teach further. If it is a suggestion or a negative comment, I will try to correct myself. And please share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you so much.